Welcome to English. Let's get beauty. Summer is here. Everybody wants to look nice and hot. So, step one: subscribe. This way, you will never miss out the latest beauty information, and these main informations will make you look nice and hot. All this presented to you by Me Media. The job hunting season is here. Competition is fierce. Everyone is trying hard to win the entry ticket. So some of the things they do is to get a beauty upgrade or simply cosmetic surgery. But there are so many different types, so many kinds. How do I know which one I should choose? Well, I really don't, and this is why I've invited Dr. Kelly, who's here to help us. Please welcome Dr. Kelly. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Kelly Tan. I'm a board-certified dermatologist. I'm so happy to be here today. I don't know much about cosmetic surgery, Dr. Kelly. Uh, I've heard so much about it, and there are so many common types people get. And one of the most common one I've heard is getting a nose job. But what is that exactly? Okay, in Asian people, we tend to have a depressed nose, so we want to look more profile projections. So we do a nose job. So for a nose job, it's actually two types. It's very confusing. So one is surgery. So the surgical part, which means you go to the operation room, you get numb, and then you, they put an implant. So usually they go for the plastic surgeon. But there are a couple of patients who doesn't want to do surgery. They want a more natural look. They don't want implant in their nose, so they come to a dermatologist. So what we do is we inject fillers, which is hyaluronic acid filler, into the nose. So it takes about like 15 minutes. So the good thing is the patients are conscious, so we can discuss with her which part they want to be higher, what the shape they like. So it's actually getting more and more popular these days. Wow, this is so efficient. It's like a break time quick fix that people just go out and they come back and they're totally new. Yes, that's why it's so popular. It only takes about like 20 minutes max. And then you have just a little point on the nose, then you can use a cover up just to cover the treated area. So, and then you see the results immediately. So it's very gratifying. No wonder so many people do it these days. I think we need to find out more about this. Today's conversation. Kelly, look at these spots. Oh, these are sunspots. Why are you so worried about it? Let me show you something else. Look. Last month, I went out with Anna. I took a photo with her and I realized these spots are so obvious. They make me look so old. And my cello complexion, gosh, it's totally horrible. Well, you can do some laser treatment to get rid of the spots first and then follow by a whitening laser to maintain the results. But I've heard so much bad news about failed treatment, fake product. I'm quite nervous about this actually. Okay, well, first you need to know what laser the doctor is going to use and then make sure the doctor uses authorized equipment provided by the original manufacturer and whether the laser tips are properly sealed. And most manufacturers provide some kind of verifications like QR codes or anti-counterfeit seals and labels and etc. Well, the most important thing is a most reliable and trustworthy doctor and he should do all the safety checks for the patients. Oh. That's simple. Okay, I can wait to set up an appointment and show you the results. Today's topic. Dr. Kelly, let's focus on two parts, the facial fillers and the laser treatments, because they are the most common types. Um, I've read that facial fillers are quite dangerous, like injected into the wrong part on your face. It can cause blindness. Is it true? Is it dangerous? Okay, well, there have been some reports regarding injection-related blindness, but it is actually a very rare complication. So the doctor should have a thorough knowledge of the anatomy and blood vessel distributions of the patients. And also, we should know how to treat the complications. So when we have all this knowledge, it shouldn't be that worrisome. Dr. Kelly, I know a good doctor is just as important as getting the right treatment. But how can I know that my doctor is well-trained or adequately educated? How do I know that? 
Okay, so uh, make sure he's a board certified specialist and also he has experience in filler injections or laser treatment and he also received proper training as shown in his training certificates. But more importantly is to communicate with the doctor as to what to expect, when to come back to the doctor if anything you feel abnormal. So everything is written down in the informed consent. So both parties will sign it and it's a legal document to ensure the rights of both parties. Dr. Kelly, more about the laser treatment. Is it true that the stronger, the better? I mean, it can get rid of all my spot at once. Well, you cannot get rid of the spots in one time. So that's the first thing. Secondly, the higher, the better is a very dangerous mindset. So the higher the energy, sometimes the chance of scarring, hyperpigmentation, that kind of complication is higher. So we treat patients according to their conditions. In some cases, less is more. Dr. Kelly, what are the risks if I don't listen to you? I mean, after the laser treatment, I just go out in the sun without any protection. I mean, is it dangerous for me? Yes, it's actually very dangerous. So every laser treatment is an energy-based treatment. So each treatment, you make the skin sensitive. So you will experience skin dryness, and then the pigment cell is very sensitive to UV light. So if you do not do any sun protection, you have a chance of hyperpigmentation. So make sure you put a lot of moisturizer and put a lot of sunscreen when you go out in the sun to prevent the side effects. Dr. Kelly, thank you so much for coming today. We've learned so much about cosmetic surgery. Wow, I never knew that the knowledge is so profound. So before your next surgery, listen to this again and get a peace of mind. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye! Today's keywords Aesthetic treatment Aesthetic treatment Filler injection Filler injection Complications Complications Hyperpigmentation Hyperpigmentation Scarring Scarring Verification Verification Informed consent Informed consent Today's idiom Fine feathers make fine birds Fine feathers make fine birds I didn't know Devon was that handsome until I saw him in the tux I guess it's true what they say Fine feathers make fine birds did you find these informations useful? Well, a reliable doctor with the right treatment and proper care are the three main keys to a more beautiful you. See you next time. Bye bye. If you like our video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time.